by default, the DynasJS will serialize model property names to snake case, meaning if we need to send our model using JSON or we need to manually serialize the model within our controllers or whatever, the property names within our models are going to be changed to snake case, as you can see here with our user ID and our is published. And then if we go down to our comments, you'll see it continues on. So that's the default behavior. Now, if we didn't want this to happen and instead have our model property names remain camel cased as they're defined within our models here, we could manually define that on the column definition itself by providing serialize as and then defining it as user ID. That works perfectly fine. However, that's manually done for each property. So as you can see here at work, but we need to do that for each and every property that would be mutated over to snake case. So in this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at how to quickly and easily do this throughout all models using what's called naming strategies. So let's go ahead and get rid of this serialize as here. Now I'm going to be using the code base from our Don's.js bouncer series. Feel free to use whatever code base you'd like. Follow along. The only change that I've made to this project so far is to set up this example route that just grabs all records within all of our currently existing models and returns back as JSON so that we can easily see the serialization behavior. So naming strategies are defined as classes and we can use multiple different naming strategies within a single project. So let's go ahead and create a new folder within our app directory called strategies. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and create our file camel case naming strategy. TS. Naming strategies are defined as classes. So we're going to want to export default a class called camel case naming strategy. And we're going to want this to extend Adonis.js's default snake case naming strategy, which you can import from IOC Adonis Lucid ORM. And now within here, we have a plethora of different properties that we can use to our advantage to alter how Adonis.js is going to handle our model property names and database names within our models. So if we go into the documentation here and we head over to references, database, scroll down to ORM, there's this naming strategy section that you can click on. And right over here, you'll see all of the different methods and properties that you can define within your naming strategy. So we can alter how Adonis.js is going to look for the default table name within our model. We can alter how Adonis.js is going to look for the default column name for a given property. And this one right here is the one that we actually want to use to change the serialization name. So in our case, we're going to want to use serialize name. So let's jump back into our code base here and let's define a public method called serialize name. The first argument here is going to be the model, which we will want to extend the type of the Adonis.js base model, which we can import from Adonis Lucid ORM again. And then the second argument here is going to be the property name, which is be of type string. So within this method, all that we need to do is mutate the individual property name that's being provided and then return back that mutated property name as we'd like it to be defined whenever our model is serialized. We could manually convert this to camel case. However, if we import the string object from IOC, Adonis core helpers, we're going to have a number of different string mutation properties at our disposal right away. So if we jump back into the documentation here, click on references, go down to views and templates, go down to string helpers. Anything within here is going to be on that string object. And you'll see the very first one here is camel case. So we can utilize this particular method to transform our string into camel case. So we can return string dot camel case provided our property name, and that's it. Now, if you want TypeScript to be happy, you can go ahead and prefix your model with an underscore since we're not gonna be using the model argument that's provided to us. And there we go, our naming strategy is now defined. Now what we need to do is inform our models to actually use this naming strategy. So one way that we can do this is we can go into each individual model here and define the public static property naming strategy as a new instance of our camel case naming strategy and that will take care of it just fine for this one particular model. So if we go ahead, jump back into our example endpoint refresh, you'll see that for our posts, everything is now using camel case. But if we go down to our comments, those are still using snake case. So this is great if you need different models to use different naming strategies. However, let's say we want all models within our project to utilize this camel case naming strategy. So we want all properties whenever serialized to be camel case throughout all models. What we can do is create our own base model within our application here. So let's go ahead and create a new file within our models directory. And to prevent naming collision, instead of calling this base model, we'll instead call this app base model since this is the base model particular to our application you can name it whatever you'd like so let's go ahead and create that and let's export default the class app base model which will extend adonis js's 
base model from Adonis Lucid ORM. So now we have our app base model defined. It's not doing anything yet, but let's go ahead and swap it out on each of our other models instead of using our base model from Adonis. So we can do app base model, import that, and then we can get rid of the import for Adonis JS's base model. And we'll want to do that for each model here. So we'll replace this one too with app base model, get rid of base model from the import. Doesn't look like the automatic import work. There we go. And then do it for our user as well. I'm going to copy that just in case the automatic import doesn't work again. So at base model, get rid of Adonis JS's base model and rename this to at base model. There we go. So now all of our models, our comment, post, and user are using our new app base model. So now anything that we do within this app base model will be applied throughout all of our projects models. So instead of defining our naming strategy just on our post, we can take this naming strategy and instead of defining it here, we can define it directly on our app base model like so. And now if we jump back into our example endpoint refresh, you'll see that not only are our posts still using our camel case naming strategy, but so too are our comments and so too are our users. So that's how naming strategies work and that's how you can use them to easily mutate how Adonis.js is going to handle different behaviors with our model's strings. In particular here, we covered the serialization naming behavior. <laughs>